Okay, we're here at Sea Otter 2010 talking with Andreas Hessler from Rocky Mountain who's just here to show us the 2011 Slayer. So, Dre? Hi, how's it going? Good, so run us through what's, uh, what's new with this one. This is an all new redesign for 2011. The Rocky Mountain Slayer has uh, taken some of the attributes of the altitude and uh, what we've taken is the straight up geometry, which is a 75 degree uh, angle seat tube that under correct sag will give you the perfect pedaling position. We have the smooth link suspension, which is also on the altitude design, which allows a linear rising rate, which is very predictable and e easy to uh, set with your shock. So now you have a predictable linear rising rate and a perfect pedaling position. I'll take you through some of the other features. We've got an oversized head tube that allows for a stiffer front end. Beautiful form tubing to bring the weight lower. Nice, uh, nice uh, step over top tube. So we got lots of clearance up here. Single keyed hardware. You only need one Allen key for each one of the keyed hardware. Down on the other side you can see they're keyed. Um, it's a, it's a direct mount front derailleur with a granny gear sandwich in here, which is an ICG tab, ensuring that the chain stays on and it's also um, Hammerschmidt compatible. As we get back over to the back end, the Shimano E12 through axle ensures that the rear end is very stiff and absolute performance. Again, it's a single uh, Allen key going, a single uh, threaded uh, axle into the keyed lock. It's an amazing stiff rear end matched with the bulge stiff front end enabled by the direct mount front derailleur and a really stiff uh, head tube front end. So this bike is absolutely amazing and pedaling up and pedaling down, awesome. What a joy. The new 2011 Slayer for you by Rocky Mountain Bikes. Okay, now a little bit more information about, you were talking about uh, you redesigned so that the seat angle um, doesn't get quite as slack as some of the uh, some of the other all mountain bikes. Well, what happens is, uh, depending on the, the, the rate curve of your suspension design, uh, and the fact that most people who are pedaling 165 millimeters of travel tend to get on with a, a hydration pack, and that, you know, that adds, if I'm 185 pounds, I put on a 10 pound pack, now I'm 190 pounds. Did I adjust my sag for that? If the bike is sets up at a 73 degree angle and I sit on it and it sags to 71, now I'm way behind where I want to be for pedaling. So straight up geometry enables us to anticipate sag and set the bike up. So a 75 degree seat angle sags to a perfect climbing at 73. Straight up geometry. If you're climbing up, we already know at 66 and a half you're descending down, it's going to be an amazing ride. It's Rocky Mountain, it's, uh, it's a slayer but we want to make sure that you get to climb up to get more single track coming down. Okay, and three models I think you said? Yeah, we have a 30, 50 and 70 um, available possibly I think uh, early releases in August and September. I'll have to check back with us on that. Um, but yeah, we've got some amazing new platforms. All the frames are the same, the shocks and the components change throughout the price points. But uh, yeah, 165 mils of new 2011 Slayer. Thank you very much.